commencing with the sweetest name of Almighty Allah, who is the King of the King and Lord of the Lord. Assalamu alaikum all audience. This video on active and passive is brought to you by Allied School Orangi Comprehensive Campus. For class 8. So today we will discuss active and passive. So what? Introduction. Active and passive voice. Usage of active and passive voice. Recognize active and passive voice. Active to passive voice. Passive to active voice. So, introduction is. Voice indicates whether a subject acts or is acted upon. A subject acts. Or is acted upon. They eat apples. They subject apples object. As in you know, subject is the tier of any action. Is called subject and the receiver of any action is called object. Now we know what is subject. Now, when we make passive of this, so firstly we will put passive object apples, then helping verb are the third form item. We will add by, and at last we will add subject them because they will change into them. If you are thinking that active passive is difficult, so don't think this because it's too easy. As I have told you, the apple is an object, so we put apples in the first because in the structure of active passive, when we make active from passive, so we put object at the first, after that we put helping verb according to the tense. And after that, we put verb third form plus by plus subject. Subject will be at the end. So they consider the two children who are here and they are eaten apples. So they means we are talking about these two children. After that, there is an apple. When we are talking about the apple, Apple is an object because we are working on that and as I have told you that what is object so object is the receiver of any action what I'm saying guys I'm saying that the receiver of any action is called object after that as I have told you about the subject so the subject the doer of any action what I'm saying, the doer, the doer of any action is called subject. After this, girl plays football. What is happening here? The girl plays football. So, the girl is subject. Who is the girl, guys? The girl is subject. And plays is the verb. And you know that? Football is an object. What is this? Football is an object. When we are going to make the passive of the sentence, the girls plays football. So we will put the football, which is object, in the first. And after that, 
we have a football here what is this it is it's a football here we can see this after that we will put helping verb and then the verb third form place third form is played after we will add by and then subject you know what we have done to make the passive when we have an active sentence and then we will change into passive now a verb is an active voice if the person denoted by the subject does something what we have seen just guys we have seen that subject does something means subject okay a word appears in our mind the sentence the definition of subject that the doer of any action is called subject and the doer of any action does something the doer we are talking about the doer so after that passive voice the definition is a verb is in passive voice if something is done to the person denoted by subject as in the teacher writes a poem what the teacher writes a poem so the teacher is a subject as we all know that the subject is doing something so the teacher is a subject and the poem is a object and this is a active sentence when we are going to make passive of this we will put a poem which is a object in the first after that we will put helping verb is according to the tense and then the third form of writes which is written after that by the structure we will add by and then the teacher which is which is subject as we all know that we put subject at the end in making passive now you have an idea of how to make passive on a of an active thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video